Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. So today I want to start a new series. I'm calling it Saturday Shorts. What do I mean by Saturday Shorts? I'm going to release these every Saturday morning and they're going to be a individual either speaking topic or uh, demonstration of a tool or demonstration of a uh, method of woodworking. One topic only though. I'm not going to stray. I want these videos to be short, uh, sub 10 minutes, hopefully more like five to seven minutes. Uh, and I think the very first uh, one to do here is a video I've been wanting to do for a long time. And I'm not really sure what to call this video other than it, it is something to help new woodworkers who get discouraged in woodworking. Uh, I know 20 plus years ago when I started woodworking, I struggled mightily. Um, and I believe there are three specific things that we need to master before we get over the hump and, and, and we don't get the struggles that, that literally all woodworkers have at the beginning. Uh, I've seen many uh, guys and gals try this little hobby of ours and get so frustrated that unfortunately they quit. Uh, and what I want to try to do is help you with that so that you don't want to quit. And in no real order, the three things I'm going to talk about here are uh, the, the three things you have to master in my mind are one, figuring out how to set your equipment up and make it sharp. I don't care if we're talking Stanley hand planes, uh, delta table saw downstairs, power tools, hand tools, it doesn't matter. You need to know how to set the tool up uh, properly and sharp. Uh, dull tools are not safe. Uh, improperly set up tools are not safe. And they cause problems that make you struggle. The second uh, of the three things that I think most new woodworkers struggle with is this thing I'm leaning on. You need a proper work surface. Now I'm not saying you have to go out and buy a thousand dollars worth of hard maple and make yourself a Rubo bench. That would be nice, but I've been doing this for over 20 years and I'm still working on some two by fours that I glued together. And uh, you know, now this is a nice Craig uh, universal bench system here. Not really all that expensive. I did a video on putting this thing together. I'll, sh I'll put it up here, you can go watch it. Uh, but this is a good solid. I mean, I weigh 250 pounds. I've jumped up and down on this thing. It doesn't move. Uh, and that's what you need. You need a solid work surface. Now, does it have to be this solid to start with? No. You could really get yourself two good quality sawhorses and a, uh, you know, a solid core door, a couple of pieces of plywood uh, cut down. You don't want a 4x8 work, work surface on um, sawhorses. That would be too big. But say, you know, 24 inches by, say, 5 feet, you know, take two pieces, you know, screw them together, put it on those sawhorses, you're good. Uh, that's a solid enough surface to get working. And you also need a method to hold your project. Now I have a vise here, as you can see. I have these dog holes. <clears throat> these dog holes allow me to hold wood with things like this. This is made by Craig. This is all plastic. This is cheap stuff here. Um, this is what they call a dog. And you can take a piece of lumber and put it in between the two pieces tighten it up and this is firmly attached to your bench then you can take your plane and work on it you need something to hold your product your, your project down you can't chase it around the table you don't want to be doing this on your kitchen table you don't want to be doing this on the floor in your garage you need some form of a workbench like I said uh, Two by fours glued up make a great, great workbench top. Uh, you could take this glue up and just put it on a couple of sawhorses; it would work. Uh, and two by four, well, two by fours are going up in price right now, but still, they're not that expensive. This top did not cost me fifty dollars. Um, so, the second thing you really need to have, guys, is a solid work surface and a means to hold it. These dog holes, you know, you could use other things. You can use you can use holdfasts in these holes. The hold fast holds your lumber down. You can put hold fast out here in the middle of the bench in areas where you need to hold things. Hold fasts are great. Uh, the one thing I'll say with a hold fast is you need a bench at least two and a quarter inches thick. 
So maybe that solid core door, if it's a thick one, will work. The two pieces of plywood might not work. Uh, these things work by pinching in the hole and you need a good thickness there. But another good method to hold something down to your table <clears throat> or your bench. The third thing that people struggle with, and this is the one that really I see most people struggling with, uh, you need the ability to mill your lumber square and flat. What do I mean by this? This is actually two pieces of wood that I, I joined together and flattened. You can see there's a seam right there where I glued these two together. I did this to show that you know some joinery can work if you have good flat lumber. That was nice and flat and I was able to make it very strong. <clears throat> now obviously this holds true if the board's eight feet long or a foot long like this one. Getting perfectly flat faces and edges squared to one another is vital. And then getting the second face parallel to the first face, bringing it down flat, is what gets you to what we call S3S, surface three sides. Now, everybody's going, oh my God, John, I'm just starting out. I can't do that. I understand. You need a joiner, a planer, and a table saw to do that in the power tool world, in the power tool world. You could do that with this in the hand tool world, but that's a skill that you're probably not going to pick up on day one. Uh, I'm going to do a video on doing this both hand and power tools. I'm going to do that soon. Uh, and you'll see the differences. But you can buy lumber at a good lumber yard and ask them to surface it three sides for you. I recommend starting off with that. Going to the big box store and buying a 1x6, it's a rep recipe for uh, failure. Uh, those boards are not straight. You might be able to find a board straight enough to make a simple box. Uh, but... <sighs> You know, dovetails, any real mortise and tenon joinery, any joinery where you really need exact flat lumber, you're going to fail with that board out of the big box store if you don't yet have the tools to properly mill it flat. You're better off going to a lumber yard, getting good lumber, and have them mill it if you don't have the skills. Over time, learn the skills. You can then buy the rough lumber and mill it yourself. <clears throat> Those three things are the three biggest hurdles, I guess is what I would call it, that beginning woodworkers struggle with. And none of them are going to come to you easily. You can't just go out and buy them. Well, I guess you could go out and buy a good bench, but you know, the other, the other things are skills. You have to learn how to sharpen. You have to learn how to set your table saw up. You have to learn how to set this hand plane up. Uh, you have to learn how to either mill lumber perfectly flat or go out and buy it. Um, so you could go buy the lumber, I guess. <clears throat> the beauty is once you master these three uh, hurdles, it gets fun. It gets easier. Things start happening. All of a sudden you're cutting a dovetail and it goes together. All of a sudden you cut a mortise and tenon and it goes together. You start getting a project that looks like, hey, I made that. That's pretty cool. It, it, it's, it's amazing when it clicks. And when it clicks, guys, it clicks. All of a sudden your tools are sharp and you're making much better cuts. The sharp tools are much easier to work with and they're safer. So that's a Saturday short guys. I just wanted to talk about something I wanted to get off my chest for a while. I see a lot of people start this hobby and quit for, for whatever reason. It's usually one of those three things or possibly all of them. I hope you kind of like this idea. If you do, please hit the like button. Always, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and have a nice day. I'll see you in the next one.